morning, dear hearts. We are now on lesson 266. Please subscribe. My holy self abides in you, God's son. My holy self, big S self, abides in you, God's son. You are God's son. You are God's child. The lesson starts with the prayer that says, Father, you gave me all your sons to be my saviors and my counselors in sight, the bearers of your holy voice to me. In them are you reflected, and in them does Christ look back upon me from myself, from myself. Let not your son forget your holy name. Let not your son forget his holy source. Let not your son forget his name is yours. Now, throughout part one of the workbook, we've had many lessons that are just, and this one is just another way to state what we have already been given. As I've said so many times, the course is repetitive. The lessons, one will blend into the next and into the next. This is how we are weaving this amazing spiritual tapestry with one one thread going over, one going under, but they will tighten into what is cohesive and totally and completely consistent. Previous lessons that we've had that are speaking of this same thought um, can go back to the first 50 lessons. I am blessed as a son of God. I am the light of the world, a giant stride. I am oneself united with my creator. And of course I am as God created me. Let me remember I am one with God and that there is one life and that I share with God. And what, lesson 183, which is very much as this one, I call upon God's name and on my own because there is no difference between my name and God's because let not your son forget his holy source my source, my holy source, is that of God, God who created me, who extended his thoughts out into the world for me to know who I am. And there is no change and no shift in that. That is always going to be as it is. The second part of the lesson says, this day we enter into paradise calling upon God's name and on our own, acknowledging ourself in each of us, united in the holy love of God. How many saviors God has given us? How can we lose the way to him when he has filled the world with those who point to him and given us the sight to look on them, the sight, the true vision to really look upon all of our brothers as one, because that is not vision, that's not body sight rather, that is vision. If we go back just to lesson 262, so just a couple days ago, when it says, let me perceive no differences today, and it's that started with, Father, you have one son, and it is he that I would look upon today. It is, he is your one creation. Why should I perceive a thousand forms and what remains as one? Why, why do I perceive a thousand different forms? Because I am not, um, I am not capable at this moment of the realization of the oneness that we all are. It seems to me that I see a thousand different forms. I see a thousand different bodies. This section, of course, is what is the body? It is a fence. However, it can be my savior. The body of my brother can be my savior and my counselor to lead me home when I come into the awareness that God has filled this world with everyone, with the same message, the same source, and all of them, all of them are going to point me home so we can go together. We are all the oneness of God's perfect child, and we are here to reflect our holiness to and on each other. 
that we may leave each other home. Each brother is here to be our savior and our teacher and our guide. So when I call upon God's name and on my own, when I realize that my holy self abides in you, God's son, I'm really coming to the recognition that there is no differences, that this oneness that we speak of is real, it's true. And in you, in you, I see the reflection of God's love. And in you, I know the reflection of mine. You are God's beloved, and so am I. And you are my beloved, and I am yours. So, um, and that's it for today. My holy self abides in you, and you are God's son. I hope this helped. Please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment, please pray. We do know prayers are being answered moment by moment. Comment, subscribe, share. Be here tomorrow. Another, another favorite. So, namaste.